So this is a um, this is a new green street. Notwithstanding its color, this is a green street. It's the city's first poorest street, as uh, Deputy Mayor Cutler mentioned. Uh, and this is a model, actually, that we're hoping to replicate all over the city of Philadelphia. In our city, there are presently 19,654 acres of paved street and highways. It's a big job ahead, but I have full confidence that uh, the combination of the streets and the water department, uh, that they can uh, take on this challenge and be successful. Our administration is committed, as many of you know, to making Philadelphia the number one green city in the United States of America. And that includes infrastructure changes that uh, you might not think about uh, every day or in many instances we might actually just kind of take for granted. Permeable uh, repaving surfaces have a number of advantages. One, they can more effectively manage stormwater runoff. Ice will melt more easily uh, during our many, many winter storms. Less water will actually sit on the streets and making uh, driving safer and easier uh, in hazardous conditions. And we'll also, of course, reduce pollution uh, and protect our waterways. Complementing the city's ambitious Greenworks plan, which is in full effect and much of Greenworks uh, actually has been completed, the Water Department has also developed an equally ambitious Green City Clean Waters program. This plan details how the department will invest $2 billion over the next 25 years to transform the health of the city's waterways and improve our urban landscape. This is truly a groundbreaking plan. The Porous Green Tree Project is just one of many innovative programs and initiatives that will be introduced under Green City Clean Waters. This is a program that is presently uh, in front of the EPA and we are hopeful uh, that we will soon get approval uh, EPA Administrator Lisa Jackson was here in Philadelphia just a couple weeks ago uh, and spoke glowingly uh, about the program and it's working its way uh, through uh, the regulatory process. You know, Philadelphia is the city that's always on the forefront of innovation. It's been that way pretty much since the city was created hundreds of years ago. And today is just another example of great planning, great innovation, great thinking, but ultimately implementation that's going to benefit future generations of Philadelphians to come. Another proud moment for the city of Philadelphia on our way to being the number one green city in America. And we do all of this because of you. Thank you very much.